Journey to a New World, directed by Sean Karani. Did you ever find it difficult adapting to life here? I wouldn't say it was difficult. It was more challenging. The culture here was different than what I was used to. But generally, no. It, you know, I, I spoke English and I could find my way around. What did you find different from here compared to Kenya? The biggest difference for me? There were a whole lot of white people. <laughs> they were... It was it, it flipped, you know. Back home we were more obviously more black and less and the and the white were the minority. So that was different for me. So would you say that language barrier is the biggest difficulty you have? I wouldn't call it a barrier because it's just small things, you know, like um for example, when you're backing up a car, you all say back up we would say reverse the car. You know, like a car has a hood. You guys call it a hood. Back home, it's the bonnet. So that was, you know, that I had to stop and think. For a while there, I had to stop and think to see if I was articulating myself the right way. What was the biggest difference between he, uh, Kenya to coming to America? What's the biggest difference? Yeah. Culture is different. There was, I would say, uh, white, the white race, the white people were more and the blacks were less. I, I had never been in in such an environment before. Okay. Did you ever find it hard to get settled into the society? No. On a on a larger platform, despite what you see today, Americans are very, very accommodating people. And a lot of them are also very curious people because a good percentage of them have not traveled outside. Some of them have not traveled outside their regions. Some of them have never been outside their town, state, or the country. So, fascinated with people from different cultures, and some of them realize that because they haven't been out there, they need to learn what is out there, and they will ask you questions. They take an interest in you. So, for a majority of them, they make life easier for you because I'm also on a lear I was also on a learning curve. I needed to know, so it was a give and take kind of thing. So yeah, that made it very easy for me. What was the what was the hardest thing uh, that you faced here coming to the states? them they paid for everything I had to start doing things very independently I had to look for a job fit, you know do pay for my school buy my own stuff manage my own money especially money management then there was also fear there's also also an inherent fear of being discriminated and you didn't know you 
if you want to be discriminated against, so you you are always fearful of who you engage with, whether the person you are engaging with or you are approaching, is it okay? Are they okay with you because you're different? Uh, it, you know, and that's what tends to have people of the same background uh, kind of congregating together as opposed to everybody mingling together more more freely. Um, and I know I had said that, you know, mm -hmm. but once you have experienced one, one incident of being the other, it's very hard to shake it off. Very, very hard to shake it off. That concludes my project. I hope it helped you get some insightful look into the lives of immigrants and what it's like moving to a new country. And it also helped you kind of be aware of what they go through.